My firm is known for doing architecture as well as interiors, um, decorators. We have an enormous capability of reapportioning spaces, taking spaces and making them work to their best. People hire an architect and do the, the structural and then somebody to do the interiors and not always are they married well together. I think that what we do is, it is a seamless process. It's a sense of a global mixture, casual quality, but still sort of elegant. I can show you jobs that were done 30 years ago and they look really contemporary. This book uh, that I'm doing is my fifth book. I photographed all five books. With each book, I've always tried to teach people what I've learned. It's uh, approximately 10 different jobs and how I've approached those problems to solving it. My name is Vincent Wolf. Uh, the name of the firm is Vincent Wolf Associate, uh, and I am the boss. We are in Hale's Kitchen in my loft. I'm Cuban. I came in 61 as a refugee. I moved to New York in like 64. This has been my home since then. I've been in this apartment since October of 88. When I first moved here, it was all about crack and prostitution. Now is uh, homeless and tourist. But I like traveling in situations where you're really out stepping out of your comfort level. And living in this neighborhood is stepping out of one's comfort level. I rented the loft for the first uh, seven years. I wanted a space with an enormous amount of light and I love square spaces. And when I walked in, it was so dirty that you didn't see the sun coming through the windows, but I saw the potential. I love the sense of openness and the sense that it was an unstructured space. It had the radiators, it had the sprinkler system. It had all the things that allowed me not to be conventional. When I first got it, it had north, east, south, west exposures, but buildings have gone up. But still, I have a great deal of sun. And then three years later, the apartment next door, which is now my bedroom, bathroom, dining room, and the terrace, came up and I bought that and broke through. Welcome. Bienvenue to my loft. The first thing that I would say about it is the, the amount of light. My photography collection I've been collecting for, I would say the last like 40 years. In the living room, the main guest of the house, which is my cat sitting over there. There are elements that come from, again, all different parts. The daybed came from Borneo, early 19th century. They're just pieces that have come through my life. Uh, the chair I've had for many, many years, like 30 years, a, a nice South of France sofa. This room, which is now a guest room, exercise room, TV room, was my original bedroom. This frame bed, which was my original bed, became the guest bed. I upholster mattresses in my own fabric, that decorative fabric. I fill it with pillows, so it's a great place to sit, watch television, hung a curtain behind it, so you're privatized if you're a guest here, but I still get the natural light, and you get the sense of New York 
putting this Damien Hirsch artwork of his leaning against the window, it, again, it privatizes. It gives you something to look at as you enter the room with part of this setting over here. Trees, I have plants that I have had for 35 years. Water lilies that bloom, which is quite amazing. My dining room, this used to be two apartments where this is was the separation of the two spaces. I knocked it down, converted what used to be a bedroom into a dining room. If you're into plants, instead of moving them around, I bought online these tables with wheels. So they get moved around. Usually they're in front of the windows, but you came to visit, so they get moved over here. A great dining table from Jansan. I think that the biggest tip that you can get here is, if you collect, be sure that you collect things that you can keep all together. Something that I say to clients is, if you buy one thing, it's a chance. Two is just chachkas, which is a New York word but three becomes a collection. Here you can see that I passed three on to many, many more. The shells, which are uh, a Buddhist um, used in religious ceremonies, which I've collected from Bhutan, Nepal, India, uh, Southeast Asia. By having them together, each memory of where I bought them and how I bought them just really comes to life again. Another idea, if you have a bathroom that does not have any windows, in this case, on the other side of this glass wall, uh, what I did was I did frosted glass. So the light comes through from the windows into my bathroom, so you don't have the sense that you're living in a bathroom with, with no light. Uh, as you can see on the back, that's the light from the bathroom that at night sort of light up this wall. Among the things I collect, as you can see, I collect chairs. And it's great during a dinner party because each person picks their own chair that they like. In all the photographs are photographs of hands. A large one to Man Ray, to just different photographers, but they're all hands. And to tie it together, uh, this is a hand that I bought in Paris and it's made out of silver. They're little messages or stories that I like to put across. And you come in here, you enter my bedroom. Uh, there's a great terrace outside, which during the summertime I have dinner parties outside, which is wonderful because you see all the lights of the city at night twinkling. One of my design rules is you should always enter a bedroom and see the bed. When you see a bed in profile, all you see is the foot of the bed and a lot of white. Doing it this way, you get to see the layers of pillows. It's a much more welcoming thing. In designing my bedroom, I tried to bring different elements in. Obviously a bed. Uh, I love beds. I mean, though I don't spend that much time in them, I love the idea all day long of thinking of getting into the bed. But I have incorporated a desk, uh, so I can, if I need to write something or if I want to set something up in the way of flowers or any sort of setting, I have that. And the other thing that I have is a seating area. So it's great because I come and I sit in this chair during the morning. I keep all my books that I'm reading at the moment by the bed objects that mean something to me, like the Buddha or certain photographs. My favorite photographs are in here. The Steichen, I have uh, images that I love to look at every morning. I've used here a leather hide instead of having a rug. One step up is the master bathroom. I did the walls in painted glass. Here you can see how the light comes in from the outside 
and it's I think sort of wonderful that you see all the shapes of the books and everything. And here is the shower. I had the space to do a niche, and I bought this uh, jolly, which is an Indian word for window, which I lit from behind. I think bathrooms should become rooms, not an isolated element in, in your apartment. It's constantly evolving. I think it represents who I am as a person, and I want to be personally be always evolving. I think a home that gets stuck in time speaks of where your head is, and I want it always to show the evolution of my way of thinking and living.